all breaks down. Hey, look towards Friday, Saturday. That's looking really nice and up to 25 on Saturday and sunshine. That's your weather the way I see it. CTV Morning Live weather is brought to you in part by Capital Auto Mall. Our next guest has been touring around the continent. Gabriella Van Ray is an international activist and author, and her new book is available on Amazon. It's called With All My Might. Good morning, welcome. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, Gabriella, give us a little synopsis about what this book is all about. <sighs> the book is about uh, three different dates in my life, the adoption, having a, a child, and the death of my adopted mother. And I put it on the background of the Olympics in Canada, 2010. Um, and I talk really that it's okay not to belong. The funny part is you're not taught that, and it is a big melting pot today. But when I grew up, I felt like I was an outsider. And I did not know how to fit in, how to find my place. Was I Pakistani? Was I Dutch? Mm -hmm. And um, I still believe I'm Dutch. <laughs> but I say it really easy today. I have one leg in the East and one in the West, and it's okay not to belong to either. Mm -hmm. And I think for children today, this is an important message. And so yourself, when you moved to the Netherlands, you were born in Pakistan, you moved to the Netherlands, you experienced a lot of bullying, racism? Yes, a lot. A little bit of everything. I think children, first of all, they're incredibly cruel and I wouldn't want to go back to school. Yeah. And they, they, they're fear-based, just like all of us. And so when they don't understand something, they attack you, basically. And so I felt often, I have a beautiful analogy about M&Ms. I felt like there were only yellow M&Ms and all the color was missing. Yeah. And I was that one little red M&M and I had no idea how to become a yellow M&M. And of course, 48 years later, I know I don't want to become a yellow M&M, but go figure, yeah. you do when you're a child. So what do you say then to children who feel like they're the red M&Ms, um, even here in Canada? I think that the first thing the child needs to understand is it's okay to stand out. And you're picked upon by, by the uniqueness that you have. So be proud of the uniqueness. And the problem was I wasn't proud of that. And I really do realize that. So if the child becomes proud of the differences that sets them apart, then the other people react quite differently to this kid too, because you're not that insecure. You're actually quite daring. And I think for bullying for everyone, whether it's a parent, an educator, you and me, we all know people that have been bullied. We need to step up and actually help them and not just be a bystander and say it's okay. So to embrace the uniqueness, yes. embrace who you are. And help them. Because I don't think the bystander does anything. I think silence is like really bad. And we do that. Hmm. We, we don't seem to help them. Well, thank you very much for being here, Gabriella. It's called With All My Might. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, you're from Vancouver, so you'll be heading yes. back. But uh, thanks for coming on our show this thank morning. Thank you. We'll throw things over to Jonathan, who's sitting on the news desk. Well, a potentially terrible setback this morning for Canadian Olympic hopeful Alexander Depote. Just 24 or 44 days rather to go until the London Summer Olympics, the diver injured himself while training for an event in Spain. He struck his head on a springboard and suffered a 10 centimeter gash. Depote underwent surgery to close up the wound near the top of his forehead this morning. There doesn't appear to be any signs of a concussion, but he is expected to be under observation for two to three weeks. Depote's mom says he he could still compete during the Olympics. Well, as a member of the Canadian swimming team at the 2008 Olympics, Victoria Poon carries many memories from Beijing. And while not all of those memories are to cherish, the overall experience has made her stronger, both in and out of the water. Here's Andre Corbet with an Olympic profile. It seems crazy, really, training so hard for something that lasts less than 25 seconds. It's the 50-meter freestyle, pure power. And that's her specialty. It's short. It's no space of errors. Like everything is so quick and happens so fast.